All right, what the hell is cracking on my brothers? It's your boy, Arasoria. And pardon my French, but holy goddamn shit. Boy, oh boy, am I looking forward to spring 2021. Why do I say spring 2021? Well, I have some great news to the extreme and kind of bad news, but it's not really that bad if you really think about it. So, um, holy shit. Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga recently just got a new trailer this weekend, and not only me, but, like, me and, like, the whole Lego community in general, like, even video game community, we're all, all looking forward to this, because Lego Star Wars The Complete Saga is the most OG, Flego-ass shit to ever come out of the Lego video games, in, like, out of the Lego community in general like it's one of the best video games ever made to be honest and a lot of people say that it's the best lego game to ever exist think about it it has all six og star wars movies you feel me and i know there were two games before it you know the prequel trilogy and the original trilogy and this game just pretty much slapped those two games together and gave us an extra level you feel me now about this trailer i'm gonna have to give it about an 80 or 90 percent like an eight or a nine out of a ten because well i will admit uh the voice acting could have been a little bit better but i'm gonna get to that later these graphics holy shit these graphics these graphics are you can really tell that they're doing their very best to make this look like a modern game like this shit's the real deal you feel me and like we get to see actual gameplay now this is <sighs> I I know I maybe I know I'm kind of exaggerating a little bit, but if you're a Lego Star Wars fan, you would understand why I'm so hyped for this. Now, its original release date was supposed to be October 21st of this year, but they pushed it to spring of 2021 instead, which I'm not against honestly because I want to get this game myself. And while I do have enough money for it, the game's gonna be six dollars, ten dollars too much, at least in my opinion. But at least it's gonna give me more time to i guess get the equipment ready because honestly once this game comes out i, I want to live stream this shit on twitch you feel me i want to make a twitch account and i'll let you guys know when i make a twitch account so i'm able to live stream this game i'll let you all know that and if i don't make a video like while the game's out or before the game's out that means i didn't make a twitch account but either ways Regardless, the imagery and quote-unquote cinematography in this trailer is absolutely fire. They really could have not done a better job with this trailer, you feel me? I mean, they could have a little bit, but now I'm going to get onto the voice acting. So, with a few of the characters, they did get the original actor to reprise their role for this game. They, all right, they didn't use recycled audio from the movie and put it into this game, although I would have preferred if they did that because they did that with Lord of the Rings, and I fucking love Lord of the Rings. I love that game, Lego Lord of the Rings. They, they used the recycled footage for that game. With this game, however, they got both old and new cast members to both reprise their roles and new voice actors to play other actors roles so now we already know that billy d williams is in production with this game i thought yoda was pretty good although it's kind of easy to actually i'm not really sure if it was frank oz playing yoda in the trailer ben kenobi it was pretty obvious that wasn't alec guinness because alec guinness passed away 20 years ago so but i'll tell you what i'm very impressed with whoever did alec guinness in this game Han Solo, it's possible they could have gotten Harrison Ford because it sounds very identical, but at the same time, I've heard other actors, other voice actors play Han Solo, and they sound pretty identical, so Han Solo is pretty good as well. Not him, the Falcon. Same thing with Princess Leia, they, that they did a really good job with Princess Leia's voice actress, and man, by far, Ben Kenobi is the one that I am impressed with the most, like, Whoever voice act Ben Kenobi, I'm not sure I haven't looked it up, but whoever voice act Ben Kenobi in this game, you really could have not done a better job. You did absolutely perfect. You're my favorite voice actor of this game so far. Holy shit, this is going to be awesome. That boy is our last hope. No, there is another. The Force will be with you, always. The voice actor for the Emperor is okay, I guess. I mean... 
he could have done slightly better but, but other than that i think it sounds pretty accurate to ian mcdermott now mark hamill i'm gonna be real with you mark hamill is the one that i really do not i like the least out of all of these voice actors and it really sucks you know because you know luke skywalker is the main protagonist and they did not have mark hamill reprise his role you want to know why it's because if you compare mark hamill's voice from the 70s to now it's changed quite a lot actually like if you've watched the movie wizards before mark hamill plays one of the fairies and you compare that to listening him play skips or the joker it's changed a lot like seriously so i can understand why they didn't get mark hamill to reprise his role but i really hope that they at least got mark hamill to play the older luke because obviously the older luke is going to be in this game but whoever played the young luke in this game i really honestly feel like they could have done slightly better I mean, I can kind of see the similarities, I can kind of see the resemblance, but at the same time, it really doesn't feel 100% accurate like it does with Ben Kenobi or uh, the other. I am a Jedi, like my father before me. So be it, Jedi. Uh, whoever did Qui-Gon, they're okay as well, but once again, doesn't really sound that accurate to Liam Neeson. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe with some of these characters I actually did get the real actors to reprise their roles and maybe just my eardrums are f***ing with my head. But regardless, a lot of these voice actors are absolutely incredible, absolutely perfect, and others are rather hit and miss. Others are average. So but I'm going to go back to the release date. Another reason why they could have possibly moved the release date from october to spring is maybe for production reasons like maybe they want to make the game look better or something like that and I, I can honestly understand that because i don't want this to be some whole yandere dev shit where they release the game too early and it's not finished yet you know I i'm glad that they're waiting until they're fully finished with the game instead of releasing it early and something feels off you feel me so Either way, the gameplay footage looks absolutely awesome. You can actually do, like, actual lightsaber moves and shit, you feel me? I'm really looking forward to this game, and I know you are too, if you like LEGO Star Wars at all. And I am jumping up and down, for realsy. I'm jumping up and down, and I know a lot of other mofos in this LEGO Star Wars community are jumping down too. So, either way, I'll catch on my brothers later. Are you excited, just as excited for this as I am too? I, I, I know, right? it's 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 incredible it's great i'm very speechless but either ways i'll catch on my brothers later i love you guys and i'll see you next time